Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, and so what we have is the tower reversed and it is being confirmed here. It's repeating a repeating message uh, in the reverse. And we also have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like um, you may have uh, had a, uh, or just been through or are dealing with a very challenging situation. Um, someone could have done something or said something really uh, reckless or without thinking, uh, acting without thinking with the Knight of Swords. Um, he is in the reverse, so he may do this. Um, I feel like he can swing back and forth, so he may do this and then, oop, he's fine, and then it happens again, you know. Um, I feel like this has been some type of ongoing energy in the relationship um, and so you are dealing with the fallout of yet another uh, incident with this person. I feel like it's been uh, this long road that you've been on with this person um, but uh, I don't feel that you are ready for this to end. You could have uh, you could have hit rock bottom with this well here, okay? Um, and in order to get out of it, in order to save the relationship because you don't want it to end, um, the wishing well can indicate that you will have to work hard for what you want. Effort is needed, but uh, this effort must be on both sides okay and I feel like uh, you are working towards perhaps making some adjustments in order to make that happen I mean maybe that person uh, may uh, maybe asking something of you or has been asking something of you that you may not have wanted uh, or been in agreement about um, temperance is about making these adjustments in order to return something to uh, balance or to to make a balance um, but whatever whatever uh, is happening here uh, whatever has been said and done, whatever uh, disappointments you've experienced with this person seem to really affect you with the cancer symbol being here. Um, I kind of feel like in your mind you would see uh, uh, or be comparing then and now and and I feel like uh, you are wishing or have been wishing to be able to return this to this uh, state uh, of what it once was, you know. Um, uh, in order to do that, you have to make these adjustments or specific adjustments that maybe you've been holding back from uh, making or or maybe they uh, need to make some adjustments here. Somebody, I feel like um, we have this two of staves. Uh, so somebody went to the extreme uh, on something with the nine of wands and we see the, the, um, the wolf is coming through the barrier or the boundary you've set up. So you may have had some boundaries in place and that person uh, crossed it, okay? They crossed the boundary. Um, and you, they went to the extreme about something um, in this 
uh, in this relationship or having to do with this uh, relationship or they could have even uh, put something out in public Or something that was put out in public gets discovered, possibly. Um, you would be trying to pick up uh, the pieces from whatever has happened here because you're not ready to give up on the relationship. The Ace of Cups is here. And the Two of Staffs. So the two of staves is uh, a resolution uh, between two rivals. So uh, clearly you've been unable to get along. The Ten of Swords says that. Um, there's been a lot of fighting, but both parties at this point could possibly recognize that any further uh, conflict is not going to solve the problem. So it can indicate that there could have been some quarrel, a big fight, somebody went to the extreme. Um, neither one will admit to being wrong or that the other is right. And there's a, a stalemate, a fork in the road. And I feel like this is about somebody somebody uh, deciding or, or trying to decide uh, if a resolution is possible. If they would be willing to place their very fragile heart in this person's hand. Something somebody did caused distance between you. It looks like one person is trying to put the effort, but the other is just kind of just standing there. not really doing anything. Um, so that could feel threatening. You know, like maybe that person is not doing anything right now uh, towards uh, making a resolution. Maybe they're not, not making the adjustments that are required f in order to have this uh, resolution. Um, and that feels threatening and um, maybe maybe though they're just not ready at this time but maybe they will be at a future time and maybe this is what you're trying to decide so for the moment should I just wait this out and stay where I am and guard uh, what I have or what I have achieved so far you know You want to hold on to to what you have. There's a temptation here to stay and wait it out uh, until the other person is ready, possibly, because you don't want this, this ending. And you don't have all of your information. You've, you've already put a lot of work into this relationship, and, and it does feel exhausting. Uh, you have experienced some loss here. But you still have hope that things will change. That's what I think this is. And possibly, uh, you know, uh, you still love this person. And so you're just not ready to abandon it. Uh, after all, you've put already all this work into it. It's been a very long, rocky road is what this this is saying it's been like an uphill climb and we see that 
information once again here. So the bear is about proceeding, getting that, getting that strength and courage to, to proceed uh, with, uh, with, with this, or, or with the goal, okay, um, because you have, uh, with the snake here, there's a lot of insecurities, uh, around this temptation to stay and wait it out because you don't exactly trust them, you know. Um, maybe they've got a hidden agenda. Maybe, uh, maybe they're deceiving you. You don't know. So you're very challenged uh, by this, uh, by this uh, person, by this situation, but you're not yet ready to abandon it because of uh, the obstacles or difficulties that you are experiencing currently. Yeah. And so, um, it feels like um, you're very afraid of what the future will bring. It's like you're in the dark. Okay, so, you see, there's a lot of confusion here. In this Seven of Cups, um, these cups are all empty. They're not filled with anything. But these... Um, this person has their eyes covered and they're imagining what could possibly fill these cups. Will it be their darkest fears or their fondest desires? They don't know. But what we do know, if we look closely at this person, their clothes are, look, you see they're patched. They've had a lot of repairs. Um, and this is cup, so there's some emotional poverty here. Um, and maybe this relationship needs a lot of repair or adjustments with temperance, you know. So this is it. So they're afraid of what might fill these cups in the future, but yet uh, they don't, they're, they're not going to walk away. I don't believe that they will walk away from it. Um, there's the coin, and they are looking at it um, and maybe wondering uh, what it will uh, produce. It hasn't been planted yet, right? Because adjustments need to be made. But we see that they are in preparation of planting it because they're tilling uh, the field. So they are in preparation. They just, they're very afraid of, of the results you know, of the harvest. Um, so the way ahead is very unclear. They have had some type of stinging news here. Um, they don't have all of their information, uh, and they will need to... Um, Oh boy, on either side of you, you've got the moon. On either side of you, and, and you don't have, this is talking about this information you don't have. You're going to have to rely on instinct um, and intuition to guide you through this energy of the unknown. This is a new beginning. It is the goal. It is what you want. You probably are hoping for a lucky break here, from what I can see. There's, um, so there's a, <clears throat> a conversation coming up. Um, there's a meeting. Uh, and this, I see the cross here. So this is about uh, unburdening yourself and um, one minute Let's be right back sorry about that um, this is about uh, unburdening yourself so you and this person are actually going to have a talk about the future and about expansion with the fish 
Okay, so you might be hoping for a lucky break in order to uh, get information. Um, but even, even if you get it, you're not quite sure if you can trust it. But your heart is still in this. And so um, you're not going to give up on it. You're not going to walk away from it. Um, and I do, I do feel uh, like there's that period that there's that place of reflection where you're trying to recover from something that has happened and trying to decide whether to uh, to continue or not. And I feel like this is a decision to uh, to continue to persevere. And you don't know. You don't know what the outcome's going to be here. You have the moon twice. You're missing it. You're missing that information. And it most likely you are missing it for a reason. Okay. So um, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.